Hey, sorry. Do you speak English? Yes. What's the problem, sir? Sorry. I have a problem understanding the menu. What is this? Oh, that is our coffee shop's special French toast paired with honey and strawberry. I see. I would like one of that and a black coffee, please. Got that. Anything else, sir? I think that's all. Thank you a lot for your help. By the way, your English is really good. Where did you learn it? Thank you, sir. I am actually studying English at my university now. I am a third-year student, and English is my major. Our shop also has many English-speaking customers, so I get used to it now. Now, wonder your English is so excellent. You must be a very hard-working student. You are welcome, sir. We will bring out your order in a moment. Well, once again, thank you for your service. Dialogue two: Meeting new friends. Donna joins an international volunteer activity where she helps at an orphanage in Laos. Here she meets many people from different countries. Today is her first day, and she meets the members. Hi, I am Donna. I am from the U.S. What about you? Where are you from? Do you speak English? Hi, I am Katu. I'm from Japan. I can speak a little English. Nice to meet you. Hello, guys. My name is Dustin. My home country is from Canada, so of course I can speak English pretty well. Nice to meet you all. What a relief that we can all communicate in English. This is my first time doing volunteer work abroad, so I am pretty nervous. If I can make friends with the members. Yeah, me too. By the way, Katu, your English is so good. Thanks, Dustin. It is actually thanks to working in this volunteer organization. I can meet many people from different countries to practice English. I see. Great to hear that. Seems like you have lots of fun here. I do. Besides working hours, members usually talk a lot. I have joined this activity for almost two year now. That's great. But did you learn English before joining her? Yes, I did. I studied English in my high school, but I was not so good at it. I could not have a proper conversation at that time. But you are doing amazing now. What an improvement! It is so cool of you to be able to speak two languages. I want to learn Japanese someday. Can you teach me? Yes, any time. But I have to warn you that Japanese is not easy at all. Haha, <laughs> I know. Donna can join me studying, right, Donna? Yeah, I want to learn Japanese too. The language sounds so cool. Oh, I have to go now. I will call you later. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Dialogue three: Traveling abroad. This is Brian's first time traveling in Paris, France. He does not know the way to the Eiffel Tower, and he needs to ask someone about it. Unfortunately. Brian does not speak French, so he has to find someone who can speak English to show him the way. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yeah, a little bit. What's the problem? Oh, thank God. I am sorry to disturb you, but how can I get to the Eiffel Tower from here? Oh, you are almost there, actually. You go straight until you see a coffee shop called Eiffel. Then you turn left. I am heading there too, by the way. Do you want me to go with you? That would be great. Thank you so much. By the way, your English is so good. Where did you learn it? Thanks. I used to live in the U.S. when I was small for about six years. So that's why your English sounds so natural. No, no, it's not that good. 
but thank you. Don't be so humble. You are French, right? If so, your pronunciation is pretty impressive. Yeah, I was born and raised here in Paris. Thanks for the compliment. Living in the US did help me a lot with my English pronunciation though. I see. The best way to learn a language is to live in a country that uses it. By the way, why did you live in the US when you were small? Oh, my dad had a job there and my family moved with him. After the job, we moved back to France. Despite the short time, it was really fun and memorable living in the US. Yeah, it is fun living there. It has very different attractive points from France. Oh, I can see the tower from here. I can go on my own now. Thank you for spending time with me. You're welcome. I have to go now. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Dialogue 4 in a job interview. Bara is a freshly graduated Korea girl. She has a job interview at an international company. Good morning. Thank you for coming to our interview today. First of all, please introduce yourself a little bit. Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving me a chance to participate in the interview today. My name is Bora. I just graduated from Foreign Trade University. Thank you, Bora. As you can see, because we are an international company, speaking English is a prerequisite skill for our staff. Therefore, we would like to ask you a bit more about your English proficiency. Can you use English in daily conversations? Have you taken any English proficiency tests before? Yes, I can use English without much difficulty. I have studied English since high school. At the university, I studied some of the subjects in English all well. About English proficiency tests, I have taken ILT's test last year with an overall score of 8.5. I have attached a copy of the test result in my document. I see. That's good. It seems like you will not have any problems communicating with employees from different countries. You are qualified for the next round of interview. We will see you later. Thank you so much.